Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com here to talk about Ismail Sapsher, defensive lineman at Alabama who has just entered the NCAA transfer portal. Now, I'm going to read you the script from BamaInsider.com and then kind of talk about what this means going forward. Alabama's depth on the defensive line could soon be taking a hit as redshirt freshman Ismail Sopshire entered his name into the NCAA transfer portal Wednesday night, Bama Insider has confirmed. Sopshire, 6'4", 310 pound, was rated as a number 72 overall player in the number three defensive tackle in the 2019 class. He has yet to take a snap this season after making one appearance for the Crimson Tide last season in 2019. Alabama saw eight players transfer out of the program in the offseason, including Giles Amos, transferred to Arkansas State, linebacker Markel Benton, Jacksonville State, cornerback Scooby Carter, Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, running back Jerome Ford to Cincinnati, defensive back Nigel Knott to East Carolina, offensive tackle Scott Lashley to Mississippi State, receiver Tyrell Shavers to Mississippi State, and quarterback Talia Tungvaloa to Maryland. Earlier on Wednesday, Alabama head football coach Nick Saban was asked about keeping his younger players happy as the new SEC-only schedule has limited reps for reserve players. Here's what Nick Saban had to say on that. Hopefully, they are looking at this as an opportunity for them to sort of improve, get better, learn the systems, Saban said, so that when they do get a chance to play, they're going to be able to create value for themselves and play well. I think that's one of the most difficult things for a player who isn't starting is to be able to remain focused. It takes a special guy to be able to really stay focused when he doesn't know for sure when he's going to play. But the players also have to know that there's one play away from being right there, being responsible to their teammates and to themselves and to play well when they're called on. And that was uh, Nick Saban on Wednesday. So when you kind of look at Ismail Sapsher and, um, you know, what this means for the Alabama Crimson Tide, I think you look at, you know, kind of the fact to this last game against Georgia. So what happened was Alabama was out without LeBron Ray, right? And LeBron Ray goes out, and he's obviously one of Alabama's um, defensive linemen. So in steps um, Jamil Burrow, and then in steps uh, Tim Smith. And you're kind of looking at the roster, and you're like, well, you know, what what's going to happen, or, or when is um, Ismail Sapsher going to really get a breakthrough? Because you kind of look at the the overall defensive line depth, and you have Fidari Mathis, Justin Abogbe, um, you have Christian Barmore, you have DJ Dell. So when you kind of when you look at this, the defensive depth, you know, it's going to take a while for Isma Sapsher to get on the field. And I get it. Last year, as a true freshman, came on, and it didn't seem like he was in the right shape to play during the 2019 season. Not a big problem, right? Get your mind right. Start working with David Blue, Dr. Matt Ray, and get better so you can get on the field, create value for yourself. However, um, you know, that hasn't been the case going into this season, that he just hasn't had an opportunity to play. Now, does that mean just to exit out? I mean, that's up to him. I, I would assume that the coaching staff would like him to stay, would like him to continue to get developed. I mean, this guy's only a redshirt freshman. And um, I think it's it's hard to get defensive tackles in that can contribute, can stay patient. Having quality defensive tackles, interior defensive linemen is super, super important. I, for one, think that Ismail Sopcher has a very high ceiling. But I also think that the NCAA transfer portal has created almost a free agency in football. And I don't think that's good for college football. I get it. If... if a place isn't working out for you, then bounce out. That's up to the player. Same with coaches, right? I mean, coaches are able to leave. They can go be another assistant. They can go be other head coaches, whatever. So players should have that option. But I think in, in most cases, it's about timing. And when you see kind of a younger player transfer out, a, a redshirt freshman, a freshman, even a sophomore, you think that it might be too early for the, that player just to just bounce out because it, it might not be the right fit. How many times have we started something and it's just it's not going well, but you stay the course and then things work out. That's completely different to, let's say, a redshirt junior who already has his degree and then he has options to transfer out just because he's not on the depth chart and he only has a limited time left to play. Now, you have to remember with this particular season that all players will be granted an extra year. Right. So you look at uh, wherever Ismail Sopshirt decides to go or if he even decides to stay remember we've seen this before players 
into the NTA transfer portal and then they enter and then they exit. We don't know what's going to happen. All we know that he's in the portal right now. Nick Saban, I'm sure, is going to talk with him and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens going forward. Point is, he's a redshirt freshman and wherever he goes, he'll still be a redshirt freshman. Same thing if he comes back to Alabama next season. So he's had a lot of playing time still left. And, um, you know, I, I think that um, it's going to be interesting to, to track because I feel that Ismael Sopcher is going to be a guy. I, I feel that it's only a matter of time until he gets on the field. It might not be this season, but it could be next season. So, um, you know, we'll uh, continue to track the situation, but just wanted to come on here and to pro provide a little bit of context. Ismael Sopcher has entered the NCAA transfer portal. We'll have complete coverage um, on this at BamaInsider.com. Of course, uh, keep tabs, and uh, we'll see if he does decide to, to leave the program. But going into this Tennessee week, and kind of the midseason transfer is also kind of interesting. You, you kind of look to the, the larger scale. You know, maybe, you know, should he have waited to the end of the season? Kind of a midseason move is uh, pretty interesting. I don't think we've seen that too many times before. Reporting from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com. Stay with Bama Insider for tons of coverage on Alabama versus Tennessee week.